All right, surgical EQ. What is surgical EQ? It's also called um, corrective EQ, and it's basically used to clean up or correct the sound of your recording, your sample, uh, your loops, your synths, whatever. You see, sometimes you get a recording or you drop in a sample, and it turns out it has these nasty, unpleasant overtones to it. And to get these out, you will need to dive in a little deeper into the channel EQ uh, than usual. But in fact, uh, Logic's uh, channel EQ is really well suited for this kind of job. So let me show you what I mean. This is a loop I have here. It's called Ringing Loop. And let me just play it for you so you know what I mean by ringing. And I assume you could hear it right away. There's some real harshness in there, especially in the uh, upper mid-range. Let's get the EQ. And we'll use the analyzer to get a closer look. Put it on high resolution. Play it again. And there you have it. There's a really nasty peak here at the 3500 hertz. And another one around the 1.2k hertz area. So let's... um. Go try and get rid of these. Paging Dr. Green, here we go. Surgical EQ is a way of EQing where you look up a peak, find it, and eliminate it, or at least lower the level of it. Now I could clearly hear something going on in the 3500 hertz area. What you do is you grab the Q and make it as narrow as possible, so that in this case is 100, and just, um, Pump it all the way up, so you can um, go find your uh, your your nasty peak. And that's about it. Now let, let's um, let's lower it. There you go. Now you widen the queue a bit, so you get um, a bit of the surrounding uh, areas also, just to make sure. And it's sounding a, a lot better already. Okay, so there was something else going on around the 1200 hertz. So let's do it again, same thing. Queue all the way up. Pump up the volume, find your peak until it really stands out. That's probably, uh, that's probably about it. And now just uh, take it away. There you go. So let's, uh, let's compare this, this is what it was, and this is what it's now. And if you ask me, that sounds really much nicer. Keep comparing it. So that's it. There's really not much to it. Um, this is one of those things they teach you in uh, sound academies. And it's just a matter of using your ears, uh, knowing how to use the EQ. And this is a surefire way to get your recordings clean. And in the end, that is what a big sounding mix starts with.